Hey, hi everyone. This is Admin from Admin365 and in this video we will talk about how to enable archive mailbox for a user in Office 365. So let's get started. So for us to be able to enable archive for a mailbox in Office 365, we will either need a global admin or an exchange admin account. We'll open a browser, any browser and then we'll log in with the account. You can simply go to office.com and then sign in with exchange or a global admin account. Once here, you can simply click on the admin tile. If you don't see the admin tile, you can simply click on the nine dots and then search for admin and click on it. It should open a page which has the URL admin.microsoft.com. Once here, you can click on show all and then it will expand all the options here. You can click on users and active users and search for the user on which you want to enable the archive. For example, uh, let me just choose one of the account. Uh, yeah, admin license. So for example, this is the user on which I want to turn on the archive. I will click on the mail tab. And in here, we'll click on edit exchange properties. Once clicked, it will take us to the exchange admin center. You can directly navigate to exchange admin center and search for the mailbox and do the same. Or you can navigate to the way which we just saw here. And uh, you can see it directly opens the details of the user under recipients and mailbox. And you just have to click on other tab and then look for an option mailbox archive you can see the current status of it as well whether it is enabled or disabled for this account it is disabled i will click on manage mailbox archive and here we can simply toggle it to enable if you want to name it you can name it but uh, if you don't it will take its default name which is in place archive or online archive and once done, you can simply save the changes. You can see the message mailbox archiving successfully updated. And once we go back and refresh this page, it takes a little time to show the changes. So we'll have to refresh it, refresh the entire page, or you can simply search for the user in here and you can see the archive status. So this column represents the archive status and this is the user on which we just turned it on and uh, if we click on it we should be able to see the option now enable and you can see that it is enabled uh, do keep in mind uh, once you enable the archive the default policy which is applied on the tenant gets applied to the entire mailbox so you can check and confirm the same of what action would be performed to the emails which are matching the rules set in the default policy. So if you go to the mailbox tab and check the policy, currently it is default MRM policy and uh, you can change the policy as well by clicking on manage policy. And if you have any specific policy, you can simply click on it and change the policy. Default MRM policy is the uh, policy which is provided by Microsoft and it has the default tag which states that uh, any emails which are older than two years would be moved to archive. So if you need that policy, you can simply keep it as it is and save the changes. If you have made any changes to the default MRM policy, you will have to check that accordingly. But if you have not made any changes, two years older emails should be moved to the archive if no action is performed by the user. So there you go guys, this is how we can enable the archive on a mailbox in Office 365. Uh, do let me know if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. I do have a complete dedicated video for archive troubleshooting and setup. You can check that on my channel as well. And you have a nice day. Bye, take care.